This is the Microfloor flower press and I wanted to show you how to use it and then give you some real examples that I have done just starting off. This is my first time doing a flower press and I'm really impressed with the quality on this. So I wanna show you, it's just a few simple pieces. There are the clips that hook onto the side to keep it nice and secure. Um, this is the piece that you put in the microwave. Um, once you have it all clipped in, I'm going to disassemble to show you what all the pieces look like. And I like that this has ventilation. So if your flowers have a little bit more moisture, it lets that out. There are these thicker cloth pieces and don't let the stains scare you. This is just from previous flower pressing. You can wash these thinner pieces. Um, I just clearly have not done that recently, but regardless if it does have stains, it still works great. And you can see I was working on some leaves. Um, this is the after of the leaves. So they press really nice and thin. We have some baby's breath here. Um, there's the before of how it starts and then I love the colors and how flat it is. Also love this one. And then over here, I did carnations. You can either spread out the petals or just press the whole flower together. Um, you can get creative with it, but I think the quality of this flower press is really awesome. I love that you can put it in the microwave so it's really quick and easy to use and it all just clips together. So you really don't need much to get started and then it doesn't take up too much storage space. It's just this. So if it's in my microwave perfectly, I can store it away in the box and doesn't take up too much space in my home. But this is a really fun craft to get started with. It's really user friendly and does a really great job as you can see here. So if you're looking for one, I would try it out.